I'd like to take a few minutes to speak about the protection that we're given as children of God. I want you to know that you are defended by a God who neither sleeps nor slumbers. I want to remind you that you are guarded by the Lion of the tribe of Judah. You are shielded by the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. As a child of God, you are surrounded by angels who will wage war in the heavenlies when you call on the name of Jesus for help. Be at peace with the full knowledge and assurance that there is power, wonder-working power, in the precious blood of the Lamb. The God who protects us is unconquerable. He is almighty. He knows us individually and he loves us perfectly. He provides for our every need and he most certainly protects us. The word of the Lord says in Psalm chapter 121, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Let us pray. I will bless your name, Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be praised and lifted high. You are worthy to be praised and exalted. I come to you today asking for your help and your intervention, Lord. Move within my circumstance, God. Move within my situation, Father. Some people place their trust in doctors and scientists, in medicines and human knowledge. But I place my trust in you, King Jesus. My help comes from you, Lord. You are all that I want. And Lord, you're all I need. You're my strength when I am weak my source of joy when I feel discouraged. You lift me high when people look down on me and you love me when the world abandons me. So God, I will run to you to be rescued, to be safe, to be secure. And as the Bible says, I too declare that my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I pray for protection, King Jesus. I pray for your divine strength. Help me in my weakness. Help me when I am feeling discouraged or low. Deliver us from our troubles, God. Deliver us from our afflictions. Father, our help comes only from you, the God of all ages. When Paul and Silas were chained and in their darkest moment, you were their help. When Moses was faced with a sea in front of him and Pharaoh's army behind him. You were his help. You have delivered and helped those who trust and believe in you countless times. And I pray that you will do the same for me and my situation, God. Psalm 121 verses 3 and 4 say that he will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. I thank you for this promise, that you will not let me stumble. You, Lord, will keep me steady and unshaken by anything that this life may bring. You will keep me steady and unmoved when the devil and his army rise up against me. Your word has promised me that you will not allow my foot to be moved. So I call on you, Jehovah, to hold me close.
Place my hand in yours and show me the way. Lord, please lead me and guide me. You are my keeper, Father. You are so powerful and so limitless in your power that you neither sleep nor slumber. So I'm confident and secure. I'm safe and at peace because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob watches over me. You, Almighty Father, keep me safe at night and protected during the day. Thank you for wrapping your loving arms around me. Your word in Psalm 121, verses 5 and 6, tell me that the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. God, I thank you for watching over me. I thank you that you're standing beside me as a protective shade. Lord, I'm blessed to know that you have promised me that the sun will not harm me by day, nor will the moon harm me at night. I confess that my home is guarded by the angels of the Lord. My family is protected by the angels of the Lord. And I too am surrounded by a cloud of angels. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing of protection that is upon my life. You keep me safe and sound each time that I leave my home. And you shield me from the attacks of the enemy. And you block every fiery dart that comes my way. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But as for me and my house, we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. I will trust in you, Jesus, because your word says in Psalm 20, verse 6, The Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. I confess victory over all of life's troubles. I speak victory over all of my battles. I am a winner in Christ. I am victorious in Christ. I am more than a conqueror because greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. I bless your name, my Father. Your word says that the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I bless your holy name, Lord, for your promises. I confess by faith that my Lord will keep me from all harm. Jehovah Jireh watches over my life and preserves me from evil. I declare that evil will not touch me or come near my house because my Savior will preserve my going out and my coming in. You are my shepherd, my guide, my source of hope. May your name be glorified, Lord Jesus, from this day forth and even forevermore. I pray that the words I have spoken may be established in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening to this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.